All right, so I'm sure everybody's been hearing the new wave of dark jersey drill beats with artists like S. Dot going crazy. And a lot of people have been asking for a tutorial on it. So as always, if the people ask, they shall receive. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically the Jersey Club bounce over mostly dark piano or ethnic drill melodies. Then for the drums, there's a mix of jersey sounds and drill sounds. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make them from scratch so you can keep up with the trends and not get left behind. So let's get straight into it. All right, so for S dot type beats, the BPM varies a bit. It's usually a little bit faster than standard drill, so I'd go with something like 145, even 148 up to 150. I'm gonna start on 145. And like I said, the melodies are usually dark piano melodies or ethnic drill melodies. For this one, I wanna make a dark piano melody because literally just the other day, I did a full tutorial on how to make melodies and that was an ethnic drill one. So if that's the vibe you wanna go for, watch that tutorial first and come back to this one. So let's take it old school and go back to Nexus could just use the grand piano any of these and i just want to make a simple drill progression and not change it much at all so i could just copy this over bring these up let's pitch them down an octave could also take these pitch those down an octave it's really simple stuff Start with that. So really, this is just a D sharp minor chord. I said this note's brought down one. So that gives us the foundation. We'll send it to an empty insert and add half time. I think we'll pitch it back up. We'll strum them a bit with Alt and S. We'll copy that over. Then in this section, we'll just make a couple changes. Even just that. There we go. Could even add a little counter like this. And then we'll cut this note here. Yeah, there we go. Just randomize the velocity a bit with Alt and R. Turn off bipolar. Now I want two sections. So I'm going to copy this. Then in this part, we'll just have no counter melody. I just use the chords. And we'll go back to half time. And we'll try it on four times. So it's like two half times. Just to get it sounding extra dark. But I'll need to pitch this back up. I think that'll be better. And then I'll just need to move these back. Then just move this one back as well. And that one. I feel like the sound's leading to the right a bit, so I'm just gonna pan it a bit to the left and then add Stereo Shaper just to spread it. Next, I'm gonna take an EQ and just cut out a lot of that low end. Even some of the high end. Maybe we could change the preset as well, so let's try the Ghosty Piano. This one could work. Just boost up some of the high mids a bit. Then I'm gonna click down here, hit Alt and R, and then we'll just render the pattern and cut the remainder. This is just so we can take it as an audio file, and then I'm gonna reverse it. Something like that, but let's pitch it back down a bit. So we can click here, chop this by bars, then I'm just gonna rearrange it a bit. I'm thinking we make it even darker like this. And just kind of have that repeating. Then we'll just double click. And then we'll also set that to generic bleeding. Just so there's no clicks. I'm thinking for the second part, we can just flip this. See how this sounds. We'll also get some reverb on there. I'm actually going to bounce this chop first, just so it's easier to structure. And then what I could also do is copy it, make this one unique, and then let's pitch this up a full octave. We'll just turn it down as well. Send that to an empty insert. And then we'll just filter this a bit. I'm going to take an imager, and I'm just going to tighten that one a bit, just so it's not taking up the same space. Or you could do it the other way around and have the lower one a bit tighter. I want to mess with the sound a bit too, so I'm going to add on Portal. And the Starlight preset sounds pretty sick. Just gives it a weird texture. 
on some nice high end. Then I'm just gonna add pancake as well and bring down the mix. We'll make that a bit quicker. We could change it to one bar. All right, and I think the melody is missing a little bit of low end. So what I wanna do is take the same piano pattern, but then use a different piano sound. So I'm just using addictive keys. I've got the studio grand preset, but with this one, I'm gonna get rid of these, get rid of the top notes too. Maybe even get rid of the bottom ones. And to make it easier, I can just press Alt and Y to flip them and then render this version and then reverse this. Like even that by itself sounds sick. All right, next I'm gonna come to every drill producer's favorite vocal bank, which is Vocalize 2. I've got a preset called Did I Stutter? And I'm just gonna add this one note. This can just play in some sections. We'll turn it down. Actually, we'll change that to this It Lies Beneath preset. I think that sounds better. And honestly, the melody doesn't really need much more than that. In some of the S-Dot tracks, it's literally just the piano and not really any top layers. So we'll start with this anyway. I will add a pattern for drums. As always, we're gonna go to my Divine Bundle. It's got all the sounds I've been using recently. We'll go to the Chaos Drum Kit. I will just start off with a kit to get the bounce going. We'll choose the go-to kick, boost it right up. And then for the pattern, it's gonna go on the first three beats and then just before the beat like this. Let's maybe pitch it up a bit. Then I'm going to grab a counter snare, just take a nice drill sounding one, like this one. And for that jersey drill, sometimes you'll hear it as a drill pattern, and sometimes you'll hear it as the jersey pattern like this. Personally, I like this pattern. And then I just like to add some delay, set it to two, ping pong mode, bring the panning up, and the volume down, plus the feedback. I think it helps with the bounce. I actually want to get a bass in there as well. So I'm going to go to my vault, trap lords, 808s, the bonus essentials, and we're going to use the spins. Just bring the out knob up and we'll boost it a bit. Next, we'll just take that same kick pattern and just make sure we've got it in key. And make sure this is set to cut itself too. Yes, yeah, it's A sharp. Let's mute the kick for a second. And then this just goes up to B. Same with this one. And the pattern's usually pretty simple. You could take some bass notes out, could pitch them up an octave. Or to be honest, there's no rules. You could add some other notes. Something like this. And to be honest, you don't always need the kick. You could have the kick in one section and then just have the 808 playing. Just like this. So yeah. I can just play all the way through. So once you've got this bounce down, that's like the main thing. And the rest of it comes from a lot of percussion and effects. Like for example, could take some hits like this. We'll just mess with the envelope. We'll have some long ones and some short ones. So yeah, for this one, we could just copy that and then we'll fade it out. Then copy that again. And then just these three at the end. I'm just gonna take a couple more perks, something like this, we'll add this at the end. Next you want some kind of gun click or gun cock sound. I think we could use this. I'm just gonna stretch it out a bit and then reset the pitch. Then we can copy that out. Then I'm gonna add some delay to that. Set it to eight, just bring the feedback down, the volume down, I think ping pong again. Maybe the delay could be 16 actually. Yeah, I prefer that. Then we'll take this perk, make it unique, and then reverse it. Another sound I hear is this bed squeak, which is a common Jersey sound. So I'm just gonna stretch this until it's in time. I've just got that gap at the beginning. Try here. Actually, we could move that back here and then just copy this. I'm just stacking the layers for now and then once we start arranging it, I can decide which parts can have what sound. I can also cut it. Alright, now we're going to want some kind of bell like this. We'll just pitch that up and then we could just make some cuts like this. Just so it's hitting on the kicks. We'll set it to generic bleeding, just boost it up. Add some reverb to that too. And in tons of these dark jersey drill beats, I hear a snap, so I'm gonna add one in too. Let's 
So yeah, just something like this, and then bring this one down. Could add a third one if you wanted. I want to get some other interesting perks in as well. Like this one, sounds kind of sick. We'll just fit that to the tempo, see how this sounds. Let's add it here. Yeah, it's kind of hard. And then we're going to need a drum fill. Let's just get something simple like this. Fit that to the tempo. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's most things that I need. Pattern of the 8 weight changes just a bit. So I'm going to copy everything over, then fix it. And I might even change the 8 weight sound just to keep it interesting. So instead of the spins, we could grab the Z. We'll copy this pattern in, add it to this section, and then we can just fix the notes. We can just boost that a bit and then bring the out number up. And make sure it cut itself on too. Only difference is these are coming up here. I actually need to move this up. Might bring the kick in for this part actually, and then just take out the first part. have the second eight way under it i'll copy the effects over for now and then we'll decide which parts to take out let's find another drum fill for the second part too let's try this one then we could just pitch it down so it's in key there we go so then once you've got a couple of drum fills all you need to do is click the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're feeling the content that i put out for you it's not often i ask but it really helps the video and the channel so i would appreciate it but yeah we're gonna go to perks and effects i'm gonna add my shots fill just stretch that in time Perfect. I like the sound of this one too. So I'm going to grab that and just copy the counter snare pattern in. Let's pitch it up a bit. Because when I arrange it, I'm going to have some counter snares. And then when the counter snare comes out, this will come in. You'll see what I mean. So I might as well just arrange it now. Bring all of the effects down. Click on the drums. And then we'll split by channel. Highlight them. Drag everything in. And then we'll just copy this out. Or we'll just decide what to do for the intro. So I'm thinking we'll definitely get rid of the high texture. That pad. Definitely the bed squeak. And the bell. get rid of these two and i think we just have an eight bar intro and if you listen to tracks like wna they have this effect here so i'm just going to take everything out i'm going to take out the counter snare and just have three there let's make that unique because we need to cut the eight weight here i'm also just rendering that gun clock so that i can cut the delay and then i think we could do the same again i might as well just copy this over Same with this. Then let's get rid of this whole section and bring this back. We'll copy that out again. And then I'm actually going to cut this fill too. So this will be the drop. Mm. All right, we'll cut the counts now here. Yeah, something like that. I'll bring the counts now in. I think save that bed suite still. And then in this part, I'm just going to cut that count snare and let this perk finish it. Yeah, there we go. Sounds crazy. All right, so to keep it interesting, you want some kind of switch up like every eight bar. So we'll have this section and then change something here. Maybe I'll cut the gunshots, cut the bed squeaks, and then cut that main count snare. Cut the snap for a little bit, same with this per kit, and then we'll do something like this. Get rid of that high texture. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. And I think we saved that full piano just for this section. So I'm going to copy that out again, then we'll cut this second perk. And then right at the end, we could just cut everything here. All right, and I think from there, I can just copy it over. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So just the 8-bar intro. And I chop the drums up here a bit, like you saw. So yeah, just straight into it. Most of the energy is in this section. So now we've got a kick, a bed squeak, a couple of effects. And we have another switch up here. So the actual melody doesn't change a lot. But you 
keep it interesting with the drums, the perks, and all the effects. This one came out crazy. So we're just coming back around to the start now. So yeah, if you're feeling this video and you want to see me cook up more dark jersey drill, click up here. Or for standard drill, click up here. 